What does Dilla mean to you? Everything, humble dude, loyal dude. You know what I mean? If he didn't like you, you knew it. <laughs> and there weren't too many people I could say he disliked. Right. But if you tried to jerk him, you wouldn't even say much, but you'd feel that tension from afar. You could be here and he's in Conant Gardens in Detroit, and you could feel the tension if you tried to play him. Mm. But if he was good to him, he was good to you. You know what I'm saying? So really, really good too. And I miss him not just because of his music, but just because of the person he was. Real good dude, you know what I'm saying? So I've been wanting to do a tribute dedication to him, but right now it just felt like the right time, you know what I'm saying? Because we both were going through our health issues and I didn't even know he was that sick. We were playing phone tag. And now that I really think about it, I understand why we were playing phone tag because he was going through big time trials and tribulations with his illness and whatever. You know what I mean? But um, he's definitely been an inspiration to me in many ways. Not just music, because there was a time where I wasn't even thinking about music. I was thinking about, am I going to live to see another day? You know what I mean? And now that I'm living to see more days, God willing, I'm back into the music. And the main reason I can say I'm back into it is because of what we accomplished with Tribe, what me and my tribe mates accomplished. My manager Roots, my producer Roots, my best friend Roots, made sure I got back in it. And then, of course, the music of Jay Dilla. And I just be feeling like he be talking to me, like, yo, B, get out there, handle your business. So, you know, that's why I did the dedication. I felt like it was the right time. Yeah. That's definitely what's up. I mean, yeah. I think I just learned more about, I mean, you hear stories about Dilla. Mm -hmm. you, you hear a lot of stories, but just, like, in the way that you explained it, it mm -hmm. makes a lot of sense on why people applaud Dilla the way that they do. Yeah. Like, it, it makes a lot of sense. Right. So when is the album slated to be released? Um, sometime this year, we're still working okay. on it. You know what I mean? But we felt like putting out the single will set, up a, set off a nice buzz. Either they love it or they don't love it, but who doesn't love Jay Dilla? And the beat is tremendous. It's a spin off of the whole tight track right. he did with Slum Village featuring Q-Tip, matter of fact. You know what I mean? So then my producer, my manager, you know, he just made the nice little twist, flipped it, and here we are, you know what I mean? So who, who's not going to like it, you know what I'm saying? Not to be braggadocious or pat myself on the back, but when you put all of that together, just Jay, just Jay Dilla, Dilla alone, and then you hear him in the background, it's, it's, it's straight fire. It's the way tributes are supposed to be, not, not halfway done, right. you know what I'm saying? So. Um, I thank God every day for it.